This is the Sony X95K mini LED TV. This is an impressive TV from Sony and actually their first mini LED TV. With many TV companies now making mini LED at a competitive price, is this entry from Sony enough to justify your purchase? I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja and let's talk about it. The number one feature of this TV has to be its mini LED. If you are not familiar with mini LED, just imagine getting the black levels from OLED but the brightness, durability, and the cost of LED. My last TV purchase was a mini LED TV for that very reason, and I couldn't have been happier. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about when I talk about mini LED and OLED, just know that this is a high-end TV with some of the latest screen technology baked into it that should last for a while. Let's get started with some of the basics. This is a 65-inch TV that retails for $2,300. As of this video, you can find it for just under $2,000 from Best Buy. This TV goes up to 85 inches, which, you know, moves the price of the TV to $5,500, but it's currently $4,000 at Best Buy. The X95K is a premium TV from Sony, and it looks great. The stand has straight metal legs that can be mounted in three different locations. One that is narrow, so if you have a shorter TV stand, one for a very wide look, but it's real low profile, which is what you're seeing here, and then you have a taller configuration, like if you had a sound bar that you wanna put under the TV. The back of the TV has a checkered design with panels that covers up the cords, so you have a clean looking setup when viewing it from the back. Since this TV is LED, it's also a thicker TV compared to OLED to account for the back lighting. But I don't mind a TV being a little bit thick since you're looking at the screen and not the size of the TV. Now, I do find that this TV is built very well with a lot of metal surrounding the TV, also, the stands are just metal. The TV does wobble a little bit when touched, and for me having a toddler at home, it left me feeling very anxious when he was running near it. I can only assume it wobbles more at higher levels too. Also, I always do recommend, you know, mounting bigger TVs to a wall for that very reason. The back panels were also finicky, and sometimes it was hard to run wires under the panels, and then when you close the panels on top of it, sometimes the panels would just pop off, even though I thought they were secure. But that is, very, very minor. This TV uses Google TV as its operating system, which I personally enjoy. And I'd rather have this rather than Sony trying to make their own OS or even like using Roku. Now Google TV uses Google Assistant as its backbone, allowing you to control your home if that's the ecosystem you're in. But you can also control the TV with Assistant as well, asking it to play movies from a certain actor or genre or even title. You can even ask it to do general Google stuff like What's the weather in Florida? I think Google Assistant is the best implementation of voice controls for a TV, and it continues to get better over the years. So I think that was a great move by Sony. Also, it prevents me from having to buy a dedicated media box. I don't have to buy a like Fire Stick or Google Box or anything like that since it has it baked in. The TV is pretty snappy going between apps and it's quick to buffer content. I had no problem switching inputs, going into settings, launching movies, watching TV shows, or anything else TV navigation related. Now, when it comes to apps, all the apps you could think of will be there via the Google Play Store. There wasn't one app that I couldn't find that I was looking for. Okay, so let's transition to the actual display quality on the TV. The X95K, as expected, has excellent picture quality. In my testing, I would watch a video from Netflix, YouTube, YouTube TV, direct media via flash drive, and I played a little bit of PS5. When watching something colorful, the colors are vibrant, very punchy on the default settings. The colors are also pretty accurate to my untrained eye, giving you a realistic picture, especially when you change the picture mode on the TV to standard. This TV gets very bright as well, so even if you're watching in a well-lit room, you don't have to have an issue making out all those dark details and scenes, like playing God of War, you know, it has dark elements, or watching Game of Thrones, you wouldn't have a problem no matter what the lighting conditions you are in. And when it comes to high-end content using HDR, the picture is fantastic. The black levels are so close to OLED that they're indistinguishable. There are 432 zones for local dimming, and one of the downsides you're getting is that around bright images, it can bloom, meaning you might see a white halo around bright objects in a dark area. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but it's something that is visible to me as a person who reviews tech. But it's not enough to deter me from watching TV, and many people won't even notice this at all, but it's just something that I notice and have to tell you. This TV supports Adobe Vision, which will give you the best picture quality when streaming content or even gaming with a compatible console. 
Since this TV is mini LED, off access viewing won't be its strong suit, but this TV is using something that Sony calls X wide angle technology, which helps remedy this, but you quickly lose some of the colors the wider you go from the center of the display. I do love overall how the X95 handles reflections. Since the TV gets so bright, it fights off reflections from a room very well. So watching TV in like a living room with a lot of windows and lights, it shouldn't be an issue at all. I recommend this TV for a very bright room. Now, speaking of playing games, uh, this TV is great to play games. It supports VRR with G-Sync via the two HDMI 2.1 ports. It supports 4K at 120, and it has a dedicated game mode when connecting a console into it. And if you have a PS5, it supports auto HDR tone mapping, and it optimizes the HDR picture settings even more, which makes this TV excellent for games. All in all, this TV is great. With one minor flaw of blooming around objects, there isn't much more you can desire. I think for the current price right now, it's a solid TV pickup but there is competition with Samsung QLED, which can be found heavily discounted this time of year. I'll have a link to a couple of those TVs too, so you can shop and compare, but regardless of which TV you get, this one or Samsung's QLEDs, you'll be very happy with the outcome. Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.